On this video, I'm going to show how to make um, ship's boats. Now, this is one of the jigs that I made. This is for a launch. It's a, um, this is a 172nd scale. Uh, it'll be approximately seven and a half inches long when it's done. The segment is showing how to put how I put on the temporary ribs. I cut stock about the appropriate size. I soak it in water and put it, bend it across the forms. Bring it down and cut that off. And take a bunch of small one inch or so rubber bands like this. And put them on here, like you see here. All right, so just like that. And I'll do that on every one of these frames. And after I have this all done, come back and I'll show how I uh, cut out the keel and put the keel across the top. Here's the keel and the stern whale cut out. Now once you have the where the bulkheads go marked on the bottom here, like that, and on the back of the here, like this, you take the paper off of here in here. So, um, well, trying to glue to that paper is not gonna work. And, um, so, uh, stop here now and uh, take that paper off. And when I come back, so I'll uh, place the keel across those ribs right there. There now is the keel and the stern whale glued to the bulkheads. Now, those temp bulkheads are temporary, all right? And um, once it's all planked, those will come out and I'll relay new bulkheads, more of them closer together, as you'll see when those that gets to that point. Okay, bye. Well, here are the two shear planks, Ron. You see where the bottom of the two flares upward? As, because as you lay it down, it curves. Here's on the other side. It's the same. Yeah, it's important that when you put them on, they're in the same area, and that your keel is straight up and down on those first two planks. Because if it's not, you're going to have to cut it all off and start over once you get the rest of the plank planks on. Now there will be two more that will go on here at the base for the keel. So go right here, there'll be one here and one here. And on this side, one here and one here. I'll show you those after I get those on. Right now those are soaking in water and I'll put those on. And when those two are on and these two are on, the whole piece comes off the frame and then I will finish planking it off of the jig. It's just easier that way. I've done this many times, at least to 10 other ships. So uh, take my word for it, it is much easier. Well, the two keel planks are on. You can see there. Right there. And on this side as well. So now I'll be taking it off the frame and right where they meet above those rubber bands, I'll take a knife and just cut it. So now it's off of the framework. 
of stuff. We start planking like we were normally plank all, pretty much. Show you more of that as I progress on the planking. Back soon. Well, here's one side of the launch is planked. It's been sanded and it's been painted with wood glue to seal the seams and strengthen the hull. And um, I'll do some trimming on the stern. And as you can see, the bow needs some work. And I'm still going to put some um, a little bit of filler on this. And I'll show you what that's done. Now at this point, all of the original bulkheads or ribs, if you will, have been cut off. And uh, the inside of the planking will be sanded and finished just like the outside was. Well, as you can see, the first cut I made was pretty close. Um, the front end is good. It's just the back end is a little large. That's why it's kind of raised up a little bit. I just have to either carve it down or sand it down little by little until it fits. All right, in the very last segment, when I was showing you how to put in that back seat area, I got a little ahead of myself. Now the launch, being one of the larger ones, has a coxswain who steers the boat and he sits on this little stool that's in the back or the stern, right? Now the seat, the back seat, actually looks like this. Okay, okay here it goes. There, see how that fits in there? Now? It's a different shape, a little bit different shape. It actually has a backsplash here. Uh, I, I'm assuming that this is to afford the officers who sit here some privacy from the coxswain who sits in the back. Uh, I don't know how much good that would do, but um, I think it's a perception of just, well, um, imaginary, uh, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> I can't put a word to it right now. But um, as you can see, that is how it looks, actually, the seat. Now, um, on the bottom, down in here, there are foot whales. Now, in this, in the launch, is about the only one I do this to, is I get some, you know, I don't make my own grates. I'll, I'll, I'll admit that right now. Uh, especially the 132nd one, inch ones like this, are just, just too small, too intricate for my crumbled fingers. And I am currently ordering uh, another bunch of eight from uh, the Honda Expo. And I expect those in in another, oh, I don't know, week or so. Uh, uh, this will be cut to shape, you know, little arch here, in here, right? And it will go into the bottom of the boat, right about there or so, and it will serve as a footrest for the officers. Now, there's also another small section like this at the bow, and that will go in at a later date. So, until those pieces come in the mail here, uh, I'll be pretty much in a stop mode or a waiting mode. And in the meantime, I will be uh, putting copper tiles on the bottom of the New York. And there'll be a video coming up on that. And I'll also be showing some photographs rather than video 
of some of the blocks I am making, kind of preparing up ahead of time so that when I get to the running rigging and some of the standing rigging, I do not need to make stop while I'm doing these blocks. And on the post, I will post the photographs of the blocks and um, I don't believe I've made a video of the blocks, of how I make them. And I'm not going to, I don't think, unless I get some requests for it. So if you'd like to see how I make the, vid the blocks in a video form, just comment on the post that I make with the photographs. And uh, if I get enough of them, I'll certainly go ahead and do that. Um, this will end this part one of this particular boat building video. And I'll make a part two once I start putting in the seats and the oar locks and um, the, the bumper guards that will go probably along the, just below the whale here. They'll be made out of the same styrene that you see in there that is the seat supports. And um, really other than that, there's not much to it. I'll end up putting the, um, the rudder hinges on the back here. Now on a ship's boat, when the ship's in port, or if it's on the high seas, the rudders and all the increments that go into it are used, like say the masts, the oars are not stored on the boats or in the boats. They are stored in the orlock deck. So unless you want to show that, and that's fine if you want to, because it looks kind of neat, but technically and uh, realistically, those items are not on the ship.